Welcome back to the Graham Stephan Show. My name is Graham and welcome to my show. And today we're gonna have a talk about Amber Scholl. That's right, we've done two videos on her in the past because the first time she did a no budget shopping spree and she spent a lot of money. And then the second video, she redeemed herself a little bit by going to a dollar store shopping spree, which was fantastic. I endorse that. But today, she went on yet another shopping spree because she posted this video here titled, My New Home Tour! Exclamation point. So uh, you guys know how much I love a good old house tour. I'm really curious to see what she bought. But before we get into the video, we got to do our part to destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And we got to say a huge thank you to our video sponsor today, Simply Safe. But more on that later because we got to start the video right now and see what she bought. After many other home tours, here is my first ever home. What is up you guys? It's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. Wow, look at the lighting in this place. Listen, she bought this place because it's got amazing selfie lighting. You could just tell the light bounces around the room. She's perfectly lit. She's got nothing there. Think of all the money she could save on electricity by literally just using the sunlight to light her videos. That genius to me. Look at this. Do you know what that is? Yeah, okay, so I'm, I'm gonna say she's pro well, I'm not gonna give away location. She's in an area of Los Angeles that's surrounded by all of these really amazing high-rise buildings. How do I know this? Well, because uh, she lives in Los Angeles, and there's only a handful of buildings where you know you have elevators opening up directly to your unit. So uh, she, I, I'm guessing she spent a pretty penny on this. Minimum, this is probably about one and a half. Minimum. Uh, the most, probably about... 2.8 to 3 million bucks. That's how much uh, I think she spent on this. Just ballparking it based on the based on the elevator. And the fact, by the way, that I was a real estate agent in in this area for uh, for 10 years. So I, I know my fair share of elevators. Okay, so anyways, um, yes, the elevator is literally my front door. So you get in the elevator and you come up and it opens to... A lot of people, by the way, are very weirded out by that because they're like, oh, the elevator can just open up and then someone's in my front door. Usually what they have, they have two things. Uh, number one, elevators are extremely secure. You need one of those like key cards to go in. It's the same thing like someone having a key to your front door. It's like yeah, people could get into your front door probably easier than they could getting in through an elevator. Number two, usually it's an elevator that opens up to a room with a door. That way you have a little bit of separation between the two. But sometimes they also just open up directly to the unit. <laughs> Yeah, see, see, there we go, there we go. So you got a whole bunch of mirrors that, and that's basically the entry. So it's it's an illusion, it's a facade. It just makes you feel comfortable having an elevator open up directly to your unit. So that way you know, okay, at least there's a door there if you have guests or whatever. They're not coming in directly to your spot. Anyways, um, yeah, back to the house tour. Sorry, I'm gonna get distracted probably 70 million times, but like, oh my God, how cool is this? So many mirrors, yes. Like it's literally 360 degrees of mirrors in here. She needs a mirror on the ceiling though. That's the only thing that's missing in there. FYI, this is the place that I bought as is. I am going to literally tear the whole thing up and redo all of it. I'm kind of thinking of doing something like this, ignore the bad Photoshop, but you get the vibe. Ooh, yeah, so she's probably gonna put in, my guess, Gosh, in a spot like that, probably 250000 minimum to renovate a spot like that. Like cosmetic only, minimum that. She's going to be able to make so much content on this from the renovation phase, from picking up materials, everything. Guarantee that could probably pay for itself. It's probably a free renovation as long as she just makes videos on it. <laughs> Ta-da! So if you come through the front doors, you are in the other main lobby area thing that's also covered in mirrors. See, this is actually really cool. And the one thing that I would recommend uh, when she's doing all of these renovations is to add a Simply Safe system here because they are the sponsor of today's video. And we gotta talk about them because I have a Simply Safe system and I gotta say, they're awesome. And for those not aware, Simply Safe is an incredibly reliable home security system that makes sure your home is safe and protected around the clock. It's shipped right to your door. It's extremely easy to use. It's very intuitive to set up yourself in under an hour and then from there 
there, your home is protected 24-7. All, by the way, for the low price of just 50 cents a day with no contracts. They've got sensors to cover every window, room, and door, plus lots of great extras like water sensors, temperature sensors, and HD cameras. And listen, when it comes to setting stuff up like this, I am not a handy person by any means, but if I could do it myself in under an hour without any instructions, I, I think pretty much anybody can. Not to mention their devices are extremely sleek and small, so you don't even notice them. I really enjoy the peace of mind it gives me to be able to go out of town for a day or two and I point the camera at the fish tank and I can see what the fish are up to even when I'm not at home. Then of course, if anything happens or they get notified of anything, they will take the appropriate action and make sure the police get called. Plus, I could also check the front door to see if I got any new Amazon deliveries. So really, for that alone, it's worth it. Not to mention their customer service is extremely friendly and helpful and they are always there for whatever you need. So if you're interested in learning more and getting one for yourself, visit simplysafe.com slash Graham Step in Show to see what it's all about. So thank you guys so much. Enjoy. And with that said, let's get back to the video. So this is the main little, um, I don't know what this is. I think I'm actually going to put the piano here. So this is going to be the piano room, you know, very grand and fabulous. Ooh, oh yeah. I support the piano 100%. I think a piano, not only is it great and very musical, but it also, it fills the space. It's so nice to have a piano in your house. But that's that little area. Um, so now what's in the background? Do, 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 do. Look at that view! That is gorgeous. See, here's the thing. She's, uh, it's, it's set, like, listen, I'm not creepy. I'm not, like, trying to figure out where she's living, but it did say the 19th floor. This is 19 stories up. Look at this view. You, you see a bit of the smog, but it doesn't matter. This view, I gotta say, is gorgeous. That's the money. That, that's what she's paying for. I'm gonna make the ceiling, like, one of those, like, fancy. French ceilings, big giant chandelier, fancy floors, you know, the whole nine yards. But basically, I'm going to redo this entire thing. Yeah, she's going to be able to do a really great job at this. And uh, the theme of a lot of these buildings is very, like, neoclassical. It's pretty neat. And I got to say, I have a feeling even if she designs this in a, in a rather uh, overly elegant way, it's going to look really nice. It's going to look modern. Oh, my God, look at the view. It just keeps going. You can actually see the ocean over there. Just not today, because it's like kind of hazy, but. Wow, I'm on top of the world. <laughs> yeah, I always get so afraid of heights and places like that, because uh, yeah, even though you got a bit of a balcony, it's just like, I, I am so worried that someone's gonna like just touch me. Someone's gonna like put their finger like boop, and I'm gonna fall over. It's my my biggest fear of places like that. I hate looking over. It's it it's a I hate heights. I say this all the time, but LA really is like the love of my life, you know? So ten years after living here, I thought I'd put a ring on it and become a permanent homeowning resident. Yeah, the only downside, though, is uh, very high taxes, and she's paying an exorbitant amount for the HOA. I'm guessing, on a place like this, uh, HOA is probably about $1,800 a month at the minimum, probably $3,000 a month at the very max. My guess for her, the HOA is probably $2,200 a month. It's a lot. And as a homeowner on a primary residence, you can't deduct for the HOA. It's so stupid, you should be able to deduct for that. You can't do it. So that money is, boof, gone. Next stop, we'll go over here. So this, oh, I forgot about these. I need to move them. The real estate agent was so cute and left balloons in here for me. Um, Literally the cutest, sweetest thing ever. So thank you, man. I love you. Oh, that's nice. That's a great little touch there, the balloons to say home. I love, listen, as a real estate agent, 10 out of 10. She gets, she gets points from me. Since I don't drink, obviously I needed a giant bar. If you see in the background here, dining room so obviously my iconic swan table is gonna go here gorgeous 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 view that's the one thing about los angeles you overlook just like you could see the ocean you could see the entire city she, i bet she could see a little bit of downtown she's looking at century city there's so much to look at from here i would just sit there with a laser pointer and just just, just in people's backyards to freak them out that's all i would do there's also this weird little closet thing i don't really know what i'm gonna do with this but 
we'll see. Maybe I'll turn it into another bar for aesthetics. Um, Any hoozy, that's the dining area. Yeah, honestly, for cabinets like that, one of the best things you could do is just take the doors off and make it like a nice little nook where you could put stuff and like have a light shining down. That's what I would do. There's a lot of creative stuff you could do with those little nooks like that. Across from the dining area, through this door, don't laugh. Ta-da! <laughs> How are you in every room? How are you doing this? Okay. Um, yeah, this is the kitchen, which is really funny. Oh, yeah, she's got to open that up. Yeah, a lot of these condos could be very strict about taking down walls because it might compromise the structure of the unit above. It just depends on what wall it is, but for some place like this where you have such a nice view, opening up the kitchen would probably be the best money ever spent. But again, the view from the kitchen is insane. Oh, my God. This is just gonna be a full project. I'm gonna do like a whole series on the kitchen renovation. Again, if you have any ideas, let me know. Um, Love that. Love that kitchen. Do that. I, th I think keeping it as classy, like 1920s style as possible, I think that would be fantastic. Just open it up, get the view. It's gonna make the unit seem so much bigger. Also, there's a balcony out the kitchen. Like, look at that. So cool. Hi, city, I love you. Yeah, they really made good use of this space, and I'm curious if this is a corner unit. It uh, it might be one of these things where it's like within a corner, but they, you could see on the right here the unit jets out in front. That might be another unit. If she's a corner, though, that's money. So if we walk back out of there, there's this giant hallway of, of course, what else? More mirrors. Ah, oh, the mirrors. I can't believe that was a style. Seriously, that was a style. Instead of like putting wallpaper, instead of just painting wall, it's like mirrors. Let's put mirrors everywhere. And like this was trendy back then, 50 years ago. Like this was the it thing to have. So anyways, as you cascade miraculously and fabulously down the hall, we have the bathroom. Dun, 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 dun. You thought there was already a lot of mirrors in my house. <laughs> Wow, they must have gotten a good deal on those mirrors. Imagine just like, you walk into the store and be like, I'll buy all of them. Do you want mirrors in the house? And the answer is yes. How many mirrors do you want? Yes, that's it. Oh, it's so cute in here. Gosh, the mirrors. That, that's a lot of bad luck if you were to ever break those outside. That's eternities of bad luck. Um, I am gonna redo this room also, but the mirrors are definitely staying. Like, I'm thinking of making this, like, maybe a pink marbly bathroom. I don't really know yet. Gosh, this is like a fun house. Imagine going in there trying to work your way. It's like a maze of mirrors. I feel like you're going to walk into yourself. By the way, you want to see a secret? Hello? Are you coming in? No? Okay. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. You can't even tell what's a mirror and what's not. It's like... Everything is a mirror, and then behind it is a, is a room, is a shower. That's yeah, confusing. A secret shower! Through the next doorway, <gasps> into the ballroom. Ooh, gosh, this is gorgeous. I actually, I did not expect that I would like this that much. Now, I'm seeing past a lot of the mirrors, a lot of the work it needs. This space is just nice. It's a good space. I'm curious how much it is, though. But Okay, so this room I actually, you can see it's covered in wood. I actually don't usually love that. And I originally was gonna take it all out, but now as it turns out I love it. Yeah, all I would do with the wood, either paint it or stain it. I would stain it like a dark, like a dark woodish, <laughs> a dark woodish color. Stain it a dark, a dark stain. Stain it a dark stain, yeah, that makes sense. Or oh, I feel like if you painted it over with white, you kind of ruin the integrity of that. I think just a cool office-y sort of dark wood vibe would be awesome in this place. This will be where I ship all the jewelry and, you know, design new stuff and uh, edit my videos and do like all of my boss bitch shit in this room. So by the way, if you want to shop the jewelry, link below. There you go. See, there's the plug. Already like half of the renovations have been paid for right, right there. She, she is brilliant when it comes to this. You ready for the bedroom? Ta-da! So here is the bedroom. Um, oh, hi, honey. You want to be in this shot too? You want to be in every single one? <laughs> bedroom obviously again big project i'm gonna redo the whole thing this place is huge i feel like this has got to be like 22 to 2500 square feet which for a condo like this it's a lot of space so one of the coolest things about this bedroom is this window which you know when you walk in you're like oh that's a nice view but look at this <gasps> when you're sitting in bed ah! 
It's fantastic. She got the expensive view side because the other view side, it looks at a whole bunch of other condos that look in at you. It's kind of like a fish tank. But she got the view side that is very expensive. There's nothing behind you. There's never going to be anything behind you. It's all residential. So that view is pretty much hers to keep forever. Aside of the beautiful window, I knew this was my home when they told me there was two closets. So ta-da, here is the first little walk-in closet. I am gonna make this the shoe closet and obviously I'm gonna redo again the whole thing because this is like Ikea closet and I want it to be princess closet. Like make it all marble floory, so cool. But yeah, uh, this is closet A and then over here, ta-da, we have closet number Two. This place is massive. She's going to be spending a pretty penny. This could be a $300,000 renovation. Depends on the quality of the renovations, and she's going to be backlogged with supply chain issues, shortages. Good luck getting a team in there. It's going to cost her a lot of money to renovate this spot right now. Okay, so this is the master bathroom. Ta-da! Four mirrors! <laughs> There's literally not a house on earth with more mirrors, I don't believe. But anyways, this is the master bath. I am going to make this, I think, all white marble, add some columns, some sh So many mirrors. You have to really like looking at yourself. I would be like, listen, may maybe I'm not having the best day. May maybe I haven't been to the gym in a while. Every time I, I get out of the shower, i just be reminded, like, oh, I got to go to the gym. I got to go to the gym. I got to go to the gym. Uh, hey, but you know what? Maybe, th maybe that keeps you in check. Maybe that makes you motivated. <laughs> my life. I can't believe there's a bidet in here. This kills me. Honestly, I really don't need that. I'm probably gonna like get rid of it and put flower plants there, but also it's really funny, so I might just keep it. No, keep the bidet in there. Listen, and, and I say this as someone, I've never had a bidet. I've, I've never used a bidet before. In fact, uh, there was a bidet company that wanted to sponsor a video on the channel, and uh, I said, listen, I'll try it out. If I like it, I'll talk about it. And unfortunately, they just, they ghosted us for some reason. But if a bidet company ever does want to sponsor the channel, now you know we're open to it. If someone had told me five years ago that this would be my life, I would have absolutely never believed them in a million, million years. And um, I just would like to say a huge, genuine, full thank you from the absolute bottom of my heart. I would never be able to repay, um, you know, everything that you guys have given me. But I hope through my videos, um, at the very least, I can inspire you to dream too, so. You know what, I love the realness at the very end like that. I wish she did a video breaking down her own financials. Honestly, a, uh, an income breakdown video of how she was able to buy a spot like this, I think would be so inspirational because people would get to see a different side of Amber that, uh, that I, like, I'm, I'm able to see it because I, I am obsessed with all things personal finance. I could tell she's extremely smart. She's a businesswoman. And even though she puts on, on a uh, very, I mean, we all do, very energetic front, very happy, very entertaining, but behind the scenes, I guarantee she is a ruthless business person, very smart, very sophisticated, very calculated in what she does. And I don't think that this is not an accident that she was able to buy a spot like this. You could tell when it comes to business, She's on it. I bet she's meticulous. And I want her to be able to talk about that. I think that would be so interesting. So Amber, if you're listening to this, first of all, uh, one of two things. Number one, if you want to come on the Iced Coffee Hour, we'll come to LA. We could film an episode. I'd love to hear about the business aspects behind this. Uh, and number two, even if you don't, if, if you made a video breaking down your income or whatever you're comfortable with, just the business behind this, I think that would be so entertaining to watch. And I think it would inspire a lot of people. So there we go, we just finished the episode, and I gotta say, uh, Amber, I really, I, I love the place. I really like it a lot. I'm able to see past the mirrors. I know it needs work. You're gonna make it amazing. Uh, the biggest thing is, it's gonna be the renovation cost. It's gonna be very expensive for, for redoing all of this. It's not gonna be cheap with what you wanna do, and right now, with, with a lot of the supply chain issues, even finding labor right now to go and do this, everyone's backlog, because everyone is remodeling their place right now. They all decided like, hey, right now, I want to go renovate. So everyone's doing that right now. It's going to be a little tricky, but congratulations on the spot. I really like it. The view is incredible. This is going to be a great spot. And uh, I got to say, 10 out of 10 for me, I really like it a lot. So with that said, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, make sure to destroy the like button, subscribe button, and notification bell. Also, feel free to add me on Instagram. I post it pretty much daily, so if you want to be a part of it there, feel free to add me there. As on the podcast, the Ice Coffee Hour, new episodes being posted every single Sunday. So if you want to be a part of it, the link to that is down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time.